It's really important that this a very important cultural archive is coming back to Ireland and Munster. It is such an important collection spanning the entire um, phase of Richard Harris's career from his arrival in London to the, in the 1950s right up to his final appearances in the Harry Potter films. But it also contains a wealth of information in relation to his family background in Munster, uh, his sporting interests in Limerick. After he died, we pulled together all of his personal effects and it went into storage. And it just sat in storage for a long time. And um, but I wanted it to go somewhere where people would care about it and look after it and preserve it and archive it and, um, and value it for the record that it is. And I wanted it to go to Ireland. Um, I wanted it to go to a university in Munster. And, um, and Cork was the perfect place for it. A lot of the programmes that, that Cork uh, provide they mirror his interests in his life and in his career. So it is a perfect fit. Everything from poetry to prose to a non-stage musical career to a film career to a, film, to a career in theatre. And if that isn't enough evidence, if you take a, take a man who is as gifted as to be able to play a working class minor at the beginning of his career and the King of England latterly, if that doesn't span the talent and give you some sense of the impact that his flexibility and his personality could have, I don't know what does.